All right, this is gonna be part two of the video. It's dried now, so I'm going to figure out whether I wanna line this up and re-stencil because that was too light, or do I just wanna paint over it? Now, most of this is done in inks, Liquitex acrylic inks, but some of it I used um, these paints here. I think here and here, maybe there. So I was thinking maybe I would use some of that paint again. Um, so let's see. I mean, I like that color or I could just take, I guess it's this color and put that there. Maybe I'll try that. And if I don't like that, then I'll let it dry and go over it with this. So now how I did this was I just laid down a little bit of water and then went like this. So let's see if this is going to take. I just want it to cover this white pastel because I just don't like that white pastel that I did all through here but because it is an oil pastel it's probably just gonna come through well it's doing some weird texture because of the tissue paper underneath and the gloss medium but hopefully Hopefully it'll work out. And for those of you um, who didn't see part one, you can go back and watch that video. I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> Guess I was just a little too excited. Anyway, um, I wish this would lay flat. When I started it, I had it, um, which the actual making of this isn't filmed. Um, just the fixing it up pieces. But when I started doing this yesterday, I had it taped down. And then I took the tape off because I thought maybe I was done. Well, I'm not. But yeah, you can see the white still coming through. But it still pushed it back a little bit. And the white pastel is probably going to continue to come through because, like I said, um, they don't really dry. I don't know if I should do this or not. I don't know what it could hurt. I kind of want that to move around a little bit and take my brush again. But I mean, as long as it's not like toxic or dangerous, experimenting with mixed media art is a lot of fun. But I'm just trying to move this more saturated part down here a little bit. But either way, I mean, this has, oops, I just pulled the paint up just like that. Did you see that? I definitely don't want to pull more paint up. Let's see. I just want it to seep in. But I don't think it's going to seep in as good as it did in other places. Because like I said, I've laid down the gloss medium. I think I keep saying matte medium, but I mean gloss medium. All right, so I think I'm just going to let this kind of do its thing because anywhere I put this brush right now, it's just pulling it back up, especially over this test. All right, I'm back. I'm still letting that dry, but I just got an idea. I was just sitting here looking at this and I had started doing what I did up here, down here yesterday, apparently, and then just stopped. So I'm going to do some of that there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna move this like that and I'm just gonna go like this. Oop, just stuck my hand in something.
Hmm. The pen is having a hard time going this way for some weird reason. I don't know why. I don't have a very steady hand, so I feel like I'm not very good at these lines, but hey, it is what it is. I'm sure if I practiced, I'd get better. Okay, well, that's cute. I kind of wish that this was more balanced and over here. I kind of wish I didn't put these little cross things so that I could have done more line making over here to balance it out rather than have it there and there. I don't love that, but it's okay. Um, what else? I could go over this. Maybe with whatever color I used there. Now I can't remember if it was this or if it was one of my inks. It does look kind of like that, so I'm going to assume it was my muted green Liquitex. So maybe we'll give it a try. Let's see. get a brush and move that around I need a paper towel try to brush off a little bit and then just kind of move this around over here go over this white line a little bit more maybe so because it's oil pastel um, and doesn't dry it's just kind of hanging out there <laughs> Which is okay. Oh crap, I went over my line. That's alright. Maybe I'll just take some white paint to clean that up. When I had originally done this, I had it taped off. But anyway, let's see. I wonder if I just use my finger, if I can just smear it around a little bit better. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And then when that dries, I could do some line work over here. Some line pattern. I don't hate that. Now this is all dry. I'm going to see if I can bring these designs here. Or maybe here. Where should I do it? I feel like this needs to be lightened up. But I feel like that would be too clustered. Hmm, thinking of going like this. So, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. How would it look good? Maybe like, hmm. I feel like a lot of these process videos today are a lot of me thinking, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, we're just gonna do it. Okay, I could go like this, or I could go like, I don't even know how this is gonna go over the, Um, I can't remember if this is, uh, yeah, it does have a little bit of this on here. Oh, look, it's working. I didn't know if that was going to work. Oops. Kind of going over spots I don't want to go over. 
Don't want to go this far. Wipe it up. Oh, that wiped up pretty good. Well, it was still wet. Okay. Oh well, whatever. It's kind of going over the thing, but I don't care. Or maybe I do. It's okay to change your mind. I'm just gonna try to fix that a little bit. It's not perfect, but whatever. Okay, I'm not hating this, but I am having to go back over each line, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, now it's working a little bit better. But for some reason, it goes better down. Oh my gosh, this is very fun and very meditative. Okay, I love it. Now I might do a few in here because I don't feel like it's, they're as close as I want them to be. On some of them. Oops, I just rubbed my hand through this part. Crud. I'm on a roll today. Ay, ay, ay. Part of being left handed. I'm quite used to that. It's annoying, though. Okay, that's good enough. I don't hate it. And now it brings your eye around the page a little bit better. I definitely like the way it looks better on this more matte surface though, where it was just my inks, as where here it's a little bit more shiny because I had laid down that gloss medium to collage that one piece there. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> Um, and then here it's glossy and here where I laid down this polka dot tissue paper. Anyway, I'm liking it better each step of the way. And you see how this is buckled because it's gotten so wet. It's watercolor paper. I probably didn't mention that. So this is watercolor paper. And it also happens with certain mixed media papers. But anyway, it just, if you're using a lot of wet mediums, it, it starts getting buckled like this. And so what I'll do when I'm done is I'll probably take a piece of wax paper and put it over the surface of it and then put it inside of a big book and then put books on top of it and maybe even some dumbbells so that it will flatten back out. Because there's a lot going on on this page and a lot of different mediums that are um, competing with each other on the page to make it like swell and buckle and all that. So anyway, this has been so much fun and check out the previous videos if you haven't already um, and keep coming back to see what kind of fun things I'm going to get into as I'm trying to uh, keep posting again and not take so long of a break. I just had a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I post a video. Thanks for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.